Okay, that's two stars for Boo in this one. In fact, to be honest, this is a board that's kind of like based on strategic planning that could easily give you an automatic victory if you know what you're doing at the right given moment. You can't guarantee it to be the case, but as far as I can honestly say, it is easy to get an automatic victory in this. The maximum amount of stars you can get on this board is 21. Because there are two lucky space hotels that are guaranteed to be worth 3 stars. And there are 5 main hotels that you can invest coins to increase the value of the hotel. So that way, 5 hotels, each to be worth 3 stars... That's a total of 15 stars, plus the two lucky spaces, that's another 6, so that makes it 21. Yeah, I know, I'm kind of a maths geek, but if I got asked a question of something like, what's um, 1,536 times... 75, I wouldn't be able to figure that out straight away. Because, I mean, 1,536 multiplied by 75, you'd have to work out um, how many times um, 1,536 goes five times. So it's basically 1,536 multiplied by five. To give off a one number, then you would have to do 1536 times 10 and then multiply that by 7, which obviously means you're basically trying to figure out what, what um, 5 times 1536. 10 times 1536, and then times that by 7 to give you your answer. So, let's see if I can actually try and figure that out, actually. So, 1536 multiplied by 10 equals 15,360. Multiplying that by 7, um, straight away... That would give um oh god I don't even know my my brain's not exactly piecing it together at the minute. I know it's quicker to do it by the calculator, so you know what while this mini game is happening, let's just randomly do it. 1,536 multiplied by 75. Okay, it's worth 115,200. Great, okay, so I've got 50 50 shot. Uh, I'm gonna go this one. Wasn't a beat, but no matter. It is based on luck. I know it would be like, oh, come on, but to be honest, we, oh, wow, both the left side was actually a dud. No matter. Oh, I don't get any money because not hardly any coins was invested in that. Seriously? We had to invest 10 coins. I invest all of my coins and I don't get a single penny back. Oh my word. <laughs> I got the other lucky space. Oh, and I bet you're probably thinking like, all right. Um, it might be a silly move for me to actually do this, but spending one coin to get a three-star hotel... To be honest, I do that all the time because I always believe 
the AI never lands on the lucky space unless they get a really lucky roll. But not usually the case. Gah, I'm letting out gas in my mouth and I can actually smell my breath and it smells like banana. I mean, to be fair, I did have a banana earlier today. But it's kind of weird for your breath to smell like fruit. Right, I'm going to head downstairs for a brief moment to turn on some lights, make it look like somebody's in the house, so I'll be right back. Sorry about that. It's just mainly the case of, okay, I'm going to turn on some lights to make it look like somebody's in the house because I'm the only person in this house. And I did mention the reason why potentially yesterday and also the, well, actually no, the day before. I mentioned this on Thursday that, well, when I was doing King Boo's Haunted Hideaway, that my mum and dad had gone away to my brother's house to help look after the place while my brother and his girlfriend went out to go see the Silverstone Grand Prix that's going to be happening tomorrow. So, that's why I'm home alone until they come back sometime tomorrow. I don't know when tomorrow they'll be coming back. But they will be. Wow, I really am terrible with this mini game. Because you have to hit it dead in the center, and I keep going past it. I know I've won this mini game every single time, but no matter what, I am terrible because you saw that I went past the center of the segment. And I went to the far top corners, and I was pressing A, but it wasn't hitting the segment at all. It was actually missing it. Right, well, at least I got my coins back from that battle minigame. If that's one coin, sure, why not? So, from what I've actually noticed with the numbers I've rolled, I've rolled a 1 twice, I've rolled 10 twice, I've rolled a 2, and I've rolled a 3. At this rate, I'm almost feeling like I'm going to be rolling every single number. Oh, Boo almost got that lucky space by one there. Don't know why Peach is using a bolo candy. I don't think um, anybody is near her. I do find it kind of weird how the crown on Peach's head is stretched when she's in the bolo form. It's a bit weird. Oh, looks like Blooper's getting his coins back.
Wow, Boo's the only character who's actually got candy at the minute. And he's not been using them lately. Hey, Lava will leave him! Last time we saw this minigame was in Goomer's Booty Boardwalk, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I think the only board we saw this minigame in was Goomba's Booty Board Walk, because I don't remember ever doing this minigame against Peach, Toadette, and Birdo. Immediately, I was thinking to kick, and then I realized, oh wait, there's no kicking in this minigame. Get off my head. Boo's gone. Blooper. Blooper. <laughs> really, blooper. You decide, oh, a lava ball, we're going to give it a hug, and then you just run into it? I mean, to be fair, Peach was cornered, there was nothing Peach could have done about that, but Blooper, he clearly saw that Potaboo was there, or Lava Bubble, however you want to interpret it, because I know Lava Bubbles are like those um, Lava Bubble snakes you see hopping around the 2D peri perimeter of the desert levels. Wow, well, that was actually incredibly dumb, that was. You ran out into the road just as the car was about to stop. Oh, we actually got Springo Candy. So, yeah, Boo could have actually used that on the previous turn. But he didn't. He did actually get me. Because if he did that on the previous... Actually... Actually, no, it probably wouldn't have made a world of difference, honestly. Because, um, actually, no, thinking more about it, I think he did also already have the Springle Candy when I landed on the Lucky Space. So we're gonna have a bolo rama or something. Nope, Bloop is sat directly on Peach's space, so Peach can't get him. Alright, so this is the third time we've had this minigame pop up, and I've been the one two times and the three once. Good to know. There we go, not going to get Peach on that one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, getting the traps early because the AI loves to hug the bottom of the screen when really you should be hugging the top of the screen. Just saying. Hey, I actually got my lucky number in coins. Nice. Well, there's the three again. Yeah, might as well. Uh, we'll buy a slow go candy.
And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to invest all of my coins in there in case Boo has a bolo candy and decides to steal from me. Plus, I believe he's, he's going to be able to steal it back anyway, so might as well make the most of it. In fact, I actually do say that you do need an investment of 100 coins total per hotel. But I could have sworn that one time when I played this game, um, I invested 100 coins inside that hotel, inside one hotel. And in that hotel of me investing 100 coins... I had somebody else invest 39. I'm pretty sure that is the case. I'm pretty sure you can claim full ownership of the hotel because you have 100 coins invested in that hotel even though somebody else has already invested coins in that. So... I don't think it's a total of a hundred shared between the players. I think it's a total of a hundred coins for one particular player, no matter how many coins are invested in the hotel. I think that's what it is. But imagine this. You have a hotel, someone has invested 100 coins inside the hotel, but somebody else has invested 99 coins. And if somebody like lands on a happening space of Bandit to try and steal coins and they probably decided that hotel, they would never be able to steal any coins from that hotel. Because the, like I said with how Bandit works, he steals coins from whoever owns the hotel, but it never changes the owner of the hotel. He always leaves the owner of the hotel to have one coin more than whoever's in second place, unless they have more than a 30 coin lead. And Boo's just sitting there being an idiot. Leave me alone, bitch. Leave me alone. There you go. Hey! Wait! Wait! Does that look like a smiley face on that move to you? That looks like a smiley face! <laughs> that honestly does look like a smiley face on the far right hand side of the on the rooftop. Oh! Apparently we can be artistic in this. No, I'm not going to use my slow go. What's the point in that? Hey, bit size, that'll do nicely. I I actually don't know if the bit size can be can be gotten in every single board. I won't invest any coins for obvious reasons. And the obvious reasons does not involve a car honking his horn. Oh wow, Boo actually had two bolos. It is kind of weird how Boo using a bolo candy just makes him look like Boo Losses almost. For those who don't know much about Boo Losses, he's a boss in the first Luigi's Mansion game. But then they had him as a returning character in Luigi's Mansion 2, aka Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. But they didn't call him Boo Losses, they just called him Big Boo. Or something. Actually, yeah, it's just a big boo. But Boo Losses was actually a boss for you to actually beat in Luigi's Mansion 3, only in the Scare Scraper. And if you want me to be truthfully honest about the AI in this game, they're idiots. 
They always invest maximum coins in hotels even when they know that they can't take it. And they're stealing from the hotel that's on the far top right hand corner because that's the only hotel that Peach's got. So you see? He could have stole all the coins in there, but he mainly stole nine because they have to still claim an owner for that hotel. It's impossible to take a f It's impossible to take an owner of a hotel out of it to then have no owner for the hotel at all. Oh great. We're going snowboarding now. <laughs> 